I was really sad. I was just sad. And a late term pregnancy loss and found out the news that I might not be able to have children naturally at the age of 30. And what I have is a balanced translocation in chromosomes 2 and 11. This is the cause of a lot of miscarriages. The baby had chromosomal abnormalities. But that baby left its soul um, the night before I was planning to terminate the pregnancy. The baby died. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare I have been so depressed that I had to quit my job, so at the time I wasn't working. So I was seeking for help, and um, the help that most easily was found was in the form of, you know, go see a counselor. When I went to the yoga studio to see about this counselor that also taught yoga, I found out about a kundalini class that was offered on Sunday. I thought I would give it a try because, well, the yoga studio was nearby, and the yoga teacher that I went to see, who was a counselor, suggested it. So I just started going to Kundalini as frequently as I possibly could. It was almost like a retreat, thinking I'm so, so sick that I almost need like a treatment center or like a rehab center, and that's prohibitively out of reach right now, but I can just go to yoga every day. I left with the revelation that I didn't need counseling, I didn't need medication, I just needed Kundalini. And I very quickly realized that what Kundalini teaches you and what yoga teaches you is that you have all the tools from within to get through anything. So as I stood, I was completely traumatized from my pregnancy loss. Everybody these days is just like looking for a quick fix, you know, just to take a pill to solve their problem. And versus Kundalini is really just something like you're putting in work on your soul to balance yourself. It's, it's a powerful medicine. After that first meditation class, which was very hard for me, but I, I did it, um, and I felt in this really nice feeling calm. After class, I told her about my inability to have children. She said that meditation could manifest miracles. Meditation was something where I could use this as a set of tools to get over my sadness. and. Um, really heal old wounds. Kundalini gave me the tools I needed to heal past emotional pain from childhood. Things come up during meditation that you'd kind of forgotten about that you needed to address. And doing goo mooks, different exercises for balance and strength and focus. I was able to eliminate pain in my past that was holding my soul. And I was believing in miracles, which is something that we all need to do, is just believe in miracles and not lose faith. So. The odds were against me in having another child naturally. And then I began to revel in the joy when I became pregnant again. I suppose I became pregnant after a gong bath. We all got into a circle and we did this beautiful, beautiful mantra and a mudra, which was like moving out from our heart. And people were sitting and laying in a circle. And there was like old people in wheelchairs and like young people and like all different sorts of kind of people. Just doing this healing circle. And um, when I got up from the healing circle and the gong thing, there was a woman with there with an infant baby. And I just said, that's, that's going to be me. That, that, I'm not sad. That's going to be me one day. And, well, I got pregnant. I found out right away. And it was amazing. Yoga gave me the strength to carry on with the pregnancy for the first three months. I didn't know if the baby was going to live or die. The practices you're doing in class like really help you feel better. And it helped me with late term pregnancy loss and the birth of my daughter, Alice.